welcome back to another solitude date night um let's see so today's date night is gonna be very chill and low-key um because first of all i just want to say i'm really proud of myself i just been volunteering more um i've been experiencing uh different quirky events more and i just really have been challenging myself this morning i ran a 5k yes a 5k which is 3.1 miles uh this morning with uh, one of my kiddos at my school uh, she selected me well i was asked to be a running buddy and then when she found out that i was a running buddy uh, she selected me to be her partner so yeah we kept a very slow and steady pace and we started at 9 50 and then we ended and crossed the finish line at 10 38 so yeah i just want to say i'm really proud of myself because i've never ran a 5k before it was my first time ever and i paced myself really well plus i did did zero training for this uh, 5k so um, I can definitely see myself in the near future running a another 5k I feel like I have taken the time to really um, emphasize getting to know myself and challenging myself because I was actually quite nervous and anxious about uh, this morning about the 5k I was being mindful of what I was eating and um, yeah it was just kind of giving me anxiety because I was like I don't know how I'm going to perform because I haven't worked out been to the gym in uh, months I'm currently on a gym hiatus uh, until mid-July because I'm doing a lot of um, work right now I'm finishing up school year and then I do have a coordinating position so I just feel like I have a lot of things that I'm managing that I don't believe that I can add. Working out into my schedule, at least going to the gym into my schedule. I do walk my baby Gamora every day, so I have that. Uh, but it's still, I feel like I'm just, I'm unable to get adequate sleep or like feel less anxious if I add working out to my uh, routine. So I just want to say I'm just really proud of myself and also um, the growth on my youtube channel uh i want to get to 100 subscribers so if you have yet to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you are subscribed so i can reach my 100 goal that i set for myself and if you are a returning subscriber i love y'all i'm going to go to the my neighborhood um, movie theater. I'm gonna go watch uh, the UFC fight tonight um, with I forget. I know it's Poirier and Costa, but those are the two main fights. They'll be duking it out, and I'm really excited because I missed the last one. Um, so uh, that is a great segue to get into what I'm gonna be doing the second portion of my night. So I'm gonna go to Wingstop. You already know the spicy habanero is what I'm gonna get. Okay, I hope Wingstop is still open. I'm pulling up, Wingstop is over there. Um, it's currently 19.51 and first, oh, first of all, look at my cute bow. I, I, bu I bought these from Amazon, so I was just like, this is a great way to add a little um, oomph to my outfits. Ooh, as I'm trying to put lotion, the light turns green. But I hope Wingstop is open though. Oh, I cannot wait to eat my food. And there's a beautiful parking spot in front. All right, you already know I'm a park reverse girl. I'll wait for you. No problem. <laughs> First of all, if you don't park reverse, are you a real driver? Honestly, put me on the racetrack. I will tear everybody up. Okay, do you hear me? I will tear everybody up. Oh, this is the person that I'm currently 
caring for today with my tail. Um, I think it's super cute. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so hungry. I could eat a cow, but I don't eat beef. So let's go inside. Mm. Hi. Yes, it's Lenida. Should I spell it for you? Can I get the five piece combo? Mango habanero. Blue cheese. Yes, please. Is it all? Yes. All right, this is the best combo. So you do have iced tea and then have lemonade. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are here. Okay, so <laughs> can y'all notice? <laughs> so I got my food in here. Literally, see how enlarged my bag is. I have my drink in here. <laughs> Literally, I have it wrapped in this uh, cloth. I have my wallet on top, so then I don't have to do too much digging. And then I'm gonna take my blanket, just over, throw it over the top. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Matter of fact, I might just hold my purse so then I don't even have to like fumble with it. So let's go inside and let's see if I make it in. <laughs> All right, let's go. is to feel the cold and merciless impact of a generational fight. A 
Russian champion regarded as the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Who, in a time when the lightweight division is historically stacked, has put together a remarkable streak of pure domination. On a pace to parallel his mentor, the longest active win streak in the UFC at 13 in a row. Building on the introductions here, the one and only Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, we are... Oh, it's Randy Brown. It's Randy Brown. The score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 29, 28 for the winner by unanimous decision. Randy Brown. Woohoo! Inches in reach for the former world champion Sean Strickland. All right now for the intros, back to Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the car. It was pretty intense. And then, of course, on Friday, Joe, you were right there when they went. Hey, Tonight, he's 32. Dustin Poirier, 35. Makashev, taller by an inch. Poirier will have a reach advantage of an inch. Oh, 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 oh. 